guys, welcome back to my mommy's channel, Sharp Designs by Lakeisha, where we're designing our way through life and balling on a budget. My mommy looks a mess right now, and she wants you guys to see how she made this gorgeous strawberry floral tower. Say, stay tuned, Coda. Say hi. Huh? Say hi, everybody. So this is what I'll be using to complete this project. I have my strawberries washed and dried. I have some white chocolate. I have my wax paper and cling wrap. I have two size cones because I'm gonna do two gorgeous ones. Hopefully this is my first time, so hopefully they come out good. Then I have an assortment of different sprinkles to put on my strawberries as well as some um, paint that I'm gonna make. And yeah, I got all of this these items from Michaels to decorate my strawberries with. And then I have some toothpicks to stick into the strawberries and I have some fake roses, so stay tuned. And then I have these two plates that I'm going to use as bases for my cones to make sure that if the strawberry tower does get heavy, that it is held in place okay and doesn't tip over. The first thing I'm going to do is use my saran wrap to wrap it all around my cone just to make sure that the strawberries don't touch on this and the toothpicks will be able to penetrate through this cling wrap very easy. And this is what it looks like all wrapped up and finished in the saran wrap. And I have my glue gun and I'm going to put some on the bottom of this wrap and just stick it to the plate. So with my fake flowers, all I did was cut the stem. Of course, there's wire down in there that penetrates through the plastic very easily. My taller tower I'm going to be repurposing the flowers from my floral table balloon garland that I did for you guys the runner and I just used that to do a spiral design going down I think I'm going to go back up on the other side of this with the roses as well that way I won't have to use as many strawberries to fill in the gaps I decided to go ahead and get this all completed first. That way, once I have all my strawberries dipped, dried, and decorated, all I have to do is put them in place and I'll be completely finished with this project. All right, guys, so I have both of my bases done and I have everything all prepped and ready to go. My strawberries are clean and dry. You definitely want to make sure your strawberries are dry because if any type of moisture or anything gets into your chocolate, it will change the consistency and it will start to make it hard and just clumpy. Right now, this is what I have going on with my chocolate. I use the microwave method and it actually came out good. Just be sure to follow the directions on the packaging. I did 20 second intervals and I stirred the chocolate up. In between each session and up here on these foam blocks is where I'm going to be placing my strawberries with the two pips stuck in them that way they can dry evenly all the way around and not be flat on one side from laying them down all right so here I am I'm dipping my strawberries and the chocolate they're actually coming out way better than they usually do I've tried to do this on several different occasions and I usually end up with jacked up strawberries but today the strawberry gods were on my side and it's going really well I typically um, dip them and then lay them down um, back on like the wax paper but then it makes one side flat and I don't want to have a flat look on my um, tower so that's why I decided to stick them in foam in the toothpick so they can dry really really good all the way around and have a nice you know keep their same shape all right so this is how my first batch of strawberries came out they came out relatively pretty good compared to what I have done in the past and I'm pretty excited about it um as I said, I'm just sticking them up here in these foam blocks. I got these from the Dollar Tree quite some time ago. Um, you could definitely purchase a larger piece of foam because you will need it if you're going to make a tower this size. Um, but I didn't want to go purchase anything extra because as usual, I'm just making this to show you guys something creative. I'm not necessarily making this for any person or an event or anything. So I didn't want to go out and purchase anything that was unnecessary. So the chocolate dries pretty fast. So once by the time I finish um, filming this for you guys, it should be ready to go. 
And then I'm probably going to have to warm up some more chocolate because as you can see, I have a little bit left. This is two packs and I did, um, well, I started with two packs and I've done those, what is that, about 12 strawberries and I have probably about a pack left. So I'm going to try to get by with using all of this before I warm up anymore because as I said before, if you overheat the chocolate, it will mess up the consistency um, per the packaging. And I have had that happen to me before. The chocolate gets totally destroyed or you have to add vegetable oil and it's just a lot of extra work that you know is doesn't really have to be done if you just follow instructions so I'm going to try to do as many more strawberries as I can using this leftover chocolate and then I will check back in with you guys once I start decorating I just did my first decorated one with these white pearls. I wanted to see how it was going to come out before I showed you guys, but it came out cute. So I'm going to show you how I did that really quick. All I had to do was take my strawberries. And as you guys can see, I did go ahead and stick the two picks in the strawberries beforehand. I just mixed it around like I had been doing to get the chocolate fully covered on the strawberry. And then once I took it out of the chocolate, if you give it a little shake, it'll help even it out and make it look a lot more smoother. I then took my sprinkles and just dropped them all around the strawberry. My main focus was one side to be really, really covered in the top. And then once it's not as wet, you can put it in the sprinkles to fill in some of those gaps that didn't um, get sprinkles on them. And that's how it looks. And I did the same thing using these silver shimmer sparkles that I got from Michaels. I again dipped the strawberry into the chocolate to get it fully covered. And then I gave it a little shake when I take it out, which helps even the chocolate. And then I just drizzled the silver sprinkles all over until it was fully coated. So as of right now, I have two different designs going on for my decorated ones. I have the pearls and then I have the silver sprinkles. So I want to incorporate some silver paint on some of them. So I purchased this from um, Michaels. It's like a pretty silver dust and you're supposed to mix it with lemon juice. So I actually have a lemon that I bought from Walmart. And then I'm just gonna, I don't know how much, she didn't say how much, so I'm gonna do a little bit at a time and try to see if I can get a good consistency with it to create some pretty silver decor on there. And this is my first time doing this with you guys, so no judging. Looks really pretty though. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has a really, really pretty like silver texture. Really, really pretty metallic going on in it. Can you see that? It's really pretty get the paint on there I just kind of took this paintbrush that I got from Walmart and just brushed it all over um, every part of the strawberry it didn't give quite the look that I wanted it to do um, but it's not bad it just gave it like a really light shimmer um, which is really cute I guess um, but now I know in the future if I want a thicker coat I'll just use more of like a um, edible spray paint or something on the strawberries that's if I do this again because guys this is a lot of work I'm not even gonna lie So these are my final three designs that I'm going to go with for this. I really wanted to do one with some piping, but I didn't quite get that figured out just yet. So maybe next time. But I ended up with about 55 um, different strawberries that I'm going to go ahead and place on my tower. I'm going to go ahead and tackle that project now. So I guess I'll bring you guys along while I do that, of course. Stay tuned. So this is what the final product looked like. I am so in love with it. It's super cute. I wish it would last forever. This is definitely a lot of work. So when you guys be, you know, emailing and messaging these um, ladies out here that are doing this for a living, please respect their pricing because this was definitely a lot of work, but it was also oh worth it. 
I just I just love it guys it came out so good I have a second one that I wanted to finish and show you guys but I am absolutely exhausted after doing this one so I'll finish that one on tomorrow so that I can go ahead and get this vlog up for you guys and I'll share that on my Instagram stories watching guys Dakota is loving her strawberry she's already started to demolish it if you guys give this a try please be sure to DM me I love to share your pictures on my stories say bye bye Coda say bye 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 guys see you guys next time I won't be looking so crazy I'll be able to actually talk to you guys